<clears throat> you know, Arkansas. You surely didn't know all that. What did you think of black and white at the time? What did you think of white folks as? I didn't think they were real. I didn't think they were real people. Really? Uh -uh. I thought they were white folks. What? I thought they were white folks. Well, I mean, what do you mean? You didn't think huh? they were real? You don't think they had arms and legs? And oh, no, they had arms and legs, but they didn't have innards like other people. I, I thought if you put your hand on, on a white person, it would go right through. No. Just go, I promise you. They were white folks. We were people. You were that distant from them? I mean, oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, you lived scarcely 300 yards apart in some respects. Oh, and my grandmother owned the land most of them lived on. Is you know? there the slightest possibility? The white folks, myself, can truly understand the black experience. Oh, I, I think to the degree that it's necessary to understand. Well, you once said that black folks should play white folks in, in plays and what, because you've been studying yes. white folks for hundreds of years. Yes. But, but, just, but that the white folks don't understand, you know. Very seldom I've had to. You see, it's like the Cockneys in Britain, in England in particular. The aristocrats and the upper class and the upper middle class um, controlled so much of life that the Cockney developed a way of watching that person and can imitate him to a fine degree. One has only to see the current look at Finney or some of the current um, um, English actors who can imitate the upper class and upper middle class to a degree so finely honed that they can't even, they can put it over. For blacks in this country, uh, for centuries, the wave of a white woman's hand might reveal that she is getting ready to sell one's children. Or a frown on a white man's face could mean in a moment you're about to be flogged. So people learn to watch 